Hey y'all, good morning. Welcome to Lala's Land. My name's La Tiffany, but you can call me Lala. For all my returning viewers, thank you, thank you, thank you for returning. For all the new viewers, welcome, welcome, welcome. So, I think I told y'all on my last video that this weekend we were going on a field trip, right? So, um, I am walking in the airport. Here, I'll show y'all. Uh, yeah, walking in the airport. So, I'm in Hartsfield Airport. And if you don't know Hartsfield Airport, it's in Atlanta. So, my ass, I forgot to film this morning, which wasn't much for y'all. My hair's looking crazy. Um, it wasn't much for y'all. It was me getting up at five o'clock, leaving the house at six, to be at the airport by seven, board at 7.55, and land in Atlanta. So we got here like 20 minutes early. The flight from Florida is only like an hour, maybe not even an hour. So quick little flight. Um, while I have time, because I'm not supposed to pick up my rental car until 11. So while I have time, let me show y'all how she traveled after she got this whole new body, right? So let me show you. So if y'all not new to this, then you already know what this is. Yes, my girl had to come with me. So I bought my BBL pillow. I just bought a bag because this is the up and back kind of field trip. So y'all know this infamous purple tower. If you have not seen my video on how to poop, go back and watch it. I think it was like two videos before this one. So I bought my towel because if I got to go, I'm going and I'm going to be comfortable going just like I would at home. So I bought uh, my female urinal. Like I said, when I go, I want to be comfortable. My um, my MAC makeup bag because she do got to be cute on this field trip. Um, what else I bought? My ear pods carrying case and then my phone charger um so yeah that's what i brought on my little field trip i call this a field trip because it really is uh up and back i've flown into atlanta this morning i have got to fix my vlogs um i flew into atlanta this morning and my flight is at i think like six o'clock this evening so um field trip so we are headed to So Snatched. Um, it is a black owned shapewear boutique in Atlanta. I think it's in Smyrna. Um, but for us Southerners, it's Atlanta. So it's outside Atlanta. So I'm going there. I'm going to get my stage two Faja. And I'm also going to have a post-op massage done while I'm there. So more to come on that. Um, I did actually um, DM the owner, Brie Michelle, and she said I was okay to um, film and vlog while I'm there. So that's the plan to get some footage of me, number one, shopping for my stage two faja, and number two, the massage. So I'm gonna get both of those two. And then I'll probably wear back, oh, check out my outfit. <laughs> long messages uh, just some flip flops uh, black tank because you know that's our outfit and then my jean jacket um, but anywho um, I'll probably wear this one back and then include in this video a full review of like unboxing unbagging of my stage 2 that I'm going to pick up today I'll put it on tomorrow and then give you guys like a full one day review or like a couple hours in it how i feel you know what it feels like on putting it on all that good stuff so i'll probably do that tomorrow but while i'm here i'm gonna go get the faja her um spa or the, where she gives the um post officer care is in the same location so the location from what i know is big enough that she has her boutique on one side and then she has 
where she does the post op care on the other side. But y'all get to see all that because I'm going to record it while I'm there. So for now, I'm about to head and pick up my rental. Then I'm going to meet up with a friend of mine that's in Atlanta for breakfast, get me something to eat. Um, and then I'm going to head over to So Snatch. So I will come back when I arrive at the boutique. All right, later. All right, y'all. So we have made it here. I picked up my rental from before. So I have that. The drive to the boutique isn't um, that bad. It was about 30 minutes. Um, there's always traffic in Atlanta. Um, however, the traffic wasn't bad at all. So now we're going to um, we're going to go and pick out my faja. So sorry about the lighting, y'all. Let me get out the car. Cause y'all know that struggle with getting out the car on that BBL pillow. So, um, I'm sorry. This is such a horrible video because I'm all over the place. But anywho, so <clears throat> we have made it, and like I was saying, the drive wasn't the drive wasn't bad at all. Um, I think mask is required, so let me go back over here and grab my mask because safety first. Um, oh, it's in my purse. So, my mask. All right. Now we got. Okay, so we arrived what i was saying um shit. Okay. um so yeah <clears throat> the drive here from the airport isn't bad at all um it doesn't seem to be very busy i'm just gonna flip the camera around so y'all can see like as i walk up to the building so that's the building it is next to salon 413 it's also in the same shopping plaza as a big lot so if you come to the boutique just know that it is next to salon 413 and next to a big lots so um like i said we're going to um go inside my appointment is at 12 30 um, and I'll give y'all the name of who my massager is. Um, I'll let y'all know who it is. Um, we're inside now. But since I have like 30 minutes, we're going to go pick out my Faja first. And then we'll do my massage. But hopefully I can give y'all some footage of while I'm like doing my shopping. Um, I'll do an unboxing and unbagging when I get back to Florida tomorrow so y'all can see the stage too. So, um, I'll show y'all once I start shopping. So, I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So, we are here. You heard me? We are here. Oh, wait. Before I even give y'all what this boutique is giving, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you have not subscribed yet, I'm gonna give you about 2.5 seconds to do so. Okay, your time is up. You should be subscribed already. So let me give you some footage of what the boutique is giving, cause she is giving, you hear me? All right, so you know I can't give y'all too much because you hear that music in the background and she will not be copyright on this here content. So, but real quick, let me introduce y'all to these amazing women. Listen, customer service is on 10. When I came in, I was seen at the door. I filled out my paperwork. It was not 10 pieces of paper because y'all know if you done been through this process with this whole new body, you know how when you go somewhere, it's a booklet of information to fill out. It's not, it's one page, front and back, questions that you should pretty much know about yourself, name, address, phone number, emergency contact, any allergies, blah, 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 blah. Front and back, quick and easy, sign, date, you're done. 
So like I said before, my appointment's at 12.30. Um, I'm gonna try and give y'all some footage if I can. If I cannot, then I'll definitely put in some clips. They'll be somewhere either up here or over here. So in the meantime, in between time, I will catch y'all with the footage of when I pick out my stage two Faha. Again, the box unboxing or unbagging will be tomorrow. And then I'll wear it for 24 hours, give you a full review of what it looks like, how I feel, what I like, what I don't like. Um, and then I'll drop in the description, the address, the name of the boutique. Again, it's so snatched. Um, I'll give y'all the address. I'll give y'all the content information and I'll drop the website so you can go online because I believe you can order online. Um, there's a form that you fill out, drop your measurements, send it, then they'll ship it to you. So I will give y'all the footage of once I pick that out and when I get my massage. So, hey y'all, so I am the actual room where I'm about to get my massage. So I'm actually gonna get my massage first. The room smells amazing. As you can see, set in the mood, little ambiance. So here's the room that we are going to be having my massage in. So, here are the spa rules that they wanted me to take a look at. So I'll take a look at those. She's gonna actually start with my back. So here's the table. They give you disposable underwear and disposable bra. So I'm gonna get changed. I'm gonna set my camera up in the ring light so we can record and then we'll go from there.
Um, and you have like this up at the top, this bulge. You might need to adjust your size and go up. Or in my case, the solution is gonna be to do a custom thigh, which they do offer. So if you decide to order, or you come in person to the actual boutique, and you don't find what it is that you're looking for or the size is off or whatever, there is a solution. Do not panic. You can do a custom. And from what I'm told, the custom will be about a week and a half or two weeks. So just make sure that you have a garment that will suffice um, in the time of ordering, having your Faha custom made and then them shipping it to you. So again, one and a half to two weeks, but there is a solution. So do not panic. But as you can see, this one compresses where it needs to, feels great on. Um, I am going to do the short version because y'all know your girl lives in Florida. It's hot, so I need shorts. So just wanted to come back and let you guys know where we were with the Faha. Again, you want to make sure that you are keeping these uh, results together and making sure that you're getting the appropriate garment whether you are getting a stage one or a stage two, it is important that the fit is made for your body. Um, make sure that it fits well, um, especially your stage two because you're gonna be in it for some months. If you happen to um, shop online or if you come into the boutique, no worries. They have a ton of amazing garments. If you don't find what you're looking for, you can al always have a custom made Faha which will be made. Um, measurements will be taken in the store They'll make your file and then they'll ship it to you one and a half to two weeks. Hey y'all, welcome to Lala's Land. My name's La Tiffany, but y'all can call me Lala. So in today's episode, we are um, doing a unbagging. Um, if you have viewed the video up to this point, then you know probably about I would say nine or ten days ago, I went on a Faha field trip to Atlanta, Georgia to So Snatched Boutique and purchased my um, stage two Faha. And if you've seen the previous clip, then you know I ended up having to do a custom Faha. So it is here. It just arrived. Um, typically, the timing is three to four weeks. Um, however, I received mine in about eight days, eight business days. So that was super fast. I'm super excited. I'm so ready to get out of my stage one. Um, it is very, very big. My body has um, slimmed out of it and I've just been stuffing, stuffing myself with foams and boards just to take up the extra room. So what we're gonna do is we are going to unbag it. I'm gonna give you my first impressions. Um, I'm going to wear this um, probably tonight, um, all day tomorrow, which is Thursday. Uh, May 5th. Um, I'm going to wear it all day on Friday, all day on Saturday, and then I'll give you a review um, of me wearing it all day Thursday and Friday, Thursday and Friday, and then I'll record content on Saturday, add it to this, um, this video when you watch it, and then you'll have everything from my visit to Atlanta, my massage at, um, the spa that's actually located at the boutique or attached to the boutique. So you'll see a little bit of that in this video or you probably have already seen it. Um, you would have seen that. You'll see me trying um, the Faha on and then um, receiving it and wearing it for a couple days and then giving you my review after wearing it for a few days. So let's jump right into the content and the reason why you're probably continuing on with this video. So um, I love a colorful, colorful package, so um, kudos to them for sending it in the colored package. Um, and I just pulled this out of the um, mailbox maybe an hour or two ago. Um, super excited that I got it in eight days. That's really, really fast for a custom Faha, um, especially when um, if you order online or if you go to the store, you'll see on many of the paperwork that you sign and even on the website, it says, um, I think three to four weeks or four and a half weeks or something like that for custom Faha. So I'm super impressed um, to have gotten mine in eight days. Um, when I opened the package um, in it, 
my custom Faja. It has a little um, tag on it so that you know it is from So Snatched. Um, it does tell me that it is a um, made in Colombia Faja. Um, it has my name, Sage 2, Mid Thigh Faja, and it gives the size. So that's the information that's on this little card right here. Um, and then obviously inside of it, you'll see the little card that is inserted in it. That's one side. And then here's the second side um, featuring the owner um, and operator, Brie Michelle, on the little postcard. So nicely done. So let's see. Definitely know it's not from China. It doesn't have a smell to it, so that's good. Yeah, no smell at all. So we're gonna take it out of the bag. I got it in black. They offer a variety of colors. Um, as you saw in my earlier video, I tried on, I think that color was cocoa, and then they have like a beige color, and then they have black. So I opted for black. Um, okay. All right, and so also when we talked about in the store, um, they'll ask you about um, where, you, where you want the leg to hit. I did mid thigh. They have above the knee, they have shorts. So there's a couple of options with the leggings. So I got mid thigh just because of my height. Um, also, I live in Florida. I've been in a stage one that's down to my knee. And this I think will give me more options when I'm looking for outfits because I can wear a shorter a shorter dress, a shorter skirt um, versus what I've been wearing, um, which are really long, um, long dresses like down to my ankles because of my stage one faha and how long it was. Um, so I, I opted for the mid thigh. So this is what it looks like. Also the other option you'll have um, as well as with your straps, which I love. Um, I can already tell me being 6'2", that these are going to be perfect for my height. They're not going to, or I don't expect them to um, leave imprints or dents into my skin, like my, my stage one, which is not tall girl friendly. Um, this one is, um, the straps um, are adjustable. Um, let's see if you guys can see that. Okay, so you see it's made just like a regular bra strap where you can adjust it up and down. So I'll be able to fit this just fine with my shoulders, like I said, for me being um, tall. Um, I love how high the torso appears to be. Um, and you'll see, or if you haven't seen in my previous videos, I am 6'2", flat footed. And so it was super important that my torso be very long and this looks like it is going to um, fit that. Obviously with it being custom made, they took my measurements at the store. So my expectations would be that this is going to fit my body like a glove. Um, so um, I'm going to um, button the front so we can look at the clasp and let me turn this around so you guys can see. So here is are the class, and as you can see, it is the same as you would have with most Fajas, where I have three levels, so first, second, and third. So this should last me um, through um, the next five or so months that I'm going to be wearing this up until six months. Um, and then, you know, if I decide to do it, um, wear it afterwards, um, it'll last me then because I can always have it um, altered. Um, so um, those are the clasps. They go all the way down, just like they normally would. And then um, this has the, which I love, um, the, you know, the hole down the middle for you to use the bathroom. Um, it looks like it does go pretty far back, the same as the one that I have now, which I'm very accustomed to using. And so this opens up the middle and that is for you to be able to use the restroom. Um, I, I do not, um, have not, and I don't recommend um, trying to do a bowel movement using this because the this looks like it's big enough for you to do that um yeah my butt just doesn't work that way so i take this off for bowel movements but using the the restroom urinating peeing whatever words you want to use um it's very simple to do in a faja that has the opening like a zipper um and like i said that is the same as the opening that i currently am am wearing now this Faha My Stage 1 has a zipper um, opening down the middle. So I'm, I'm very used to it. So um, 
first impressions, I'm excited. Um, number one, I was excited to be able to support a black owned um, Faha um, boutique. Um, number two, I was able to um, get it custom made so I did not have to get a small, medium and large and then try to alter the thigh and the leg and the hips and then make sure it's long enough for my torso and make sure it's going to fit for everything else. Um, that just was not a good option for me. So I am happy. I'm excited. Um, the other option that you will have as well is to do a uh, braless or you can include the ones that have the actual, the top topping or bra piece to this. Um, I opted for mine not to have a bra um in this one as you can see probably through this sweater um i don't i ha i wear my cami and it's, that's exactly what my plan is to do with this one is to wear a cami and then if i want to do a bra i will do a sports bra on top which i probably will show you guys when i do the review in a few days um i'll put either some clips or i may even record in the faja with the bra on top a sports bra on top so you can see um that option as well so um, first impressions of my So Snatched Faha. I am excited to put her on. Um, I am excited about getting it as fast as I did. Um, I'm happy to be getting into my stage two so I can really, you know, pull this body together for the next couple of months. Um, so overall, I am happy. Um, and like I said, I'll come back in a few days and give you guys my review of the, um, Faha and what I think about it. So I'll see you back here in a couple of days. All right. So next time, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, yeah, share. Leave comments. Um, let me know if this content is, is helping somebody or not. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in um, the next piece of this video, which will be the actual um, review of me wearing the Faha for a couple of days and giving you guys what my first thoughts are. So I'll see you back here in a couple of days. All right. Bye. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Lala's Land. My name's Law Tiffany, but y'all can call me Lala. So welcome back to all of my returning viewers. For all of you who are new, welcome, welcome, welcome to Lala's Land. So before we even jump into this video, or at least the rest of the video, um, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also don't forget to turn on your notification bell. So that way, whenever I upload a new video, new content, you are made aware. So let's jump right into the video because I know you've seen um, the thumbnail. Um, this is probably the last uh, the last piece of um, the review I was going to give you guys on So Snatch. So if you've already seen the rest of this video, which I hope you have, y'all know that I'm from Florida. I live in outside of Tampa and I made the one day up and back trip to Atlanta, Georgia. Um, to the So Snatch Boutique. Um, I got a massage. Um, as you see in the video, we tried on some Fajas and then what ended up happening is I wasn't able to get my Faja, my second stage Faja the same day because of the way it fits. So you also probably seen in the previous part of this video, um, they mailed me my Faja. I unbagged it. However, went to try it on and um it did not fit so the next day i ended up sending it back and now here we are i just unbagged the um altered second stage fa that they sent back to me so i sent it back my measurements were off um i think it was probably due to when i was there i still was swell um was experiencing some swelling so by the time it got to me like nine days later which was crazy because i got it like nine ten days later my waist had shrunk and my faha from the measurements they took when i went to atlanta were way off so i sent it back i have it back i just took it out of the bag just got it on putting it on took me about 20 minutes and i will tell you guys when you are trying on your faja whether it be a stage one stage two if y'all going into stage three um when you first get your faja it is going to be tight 
it is going to feel like you can get it to your knees and you just want to take it off and be like, screw it. I ain't just, I'm just not going to wear no faja today. You cannot do that. You have to be in your garment about 23-7 all the time. One hour a day, that's all you get. So I'm usually in mine even less than that because I will wash my garment, put it in the dryer, get in the shower. It's a thin piece of garment. I dry it all by itself. By the time I get out of my shower, I'm getting right back in my faja. I'm not going to watch TV. I'm not going to cook. I'm not going to go take a drive down the street. I'm not going to lay in my bed and watch a TV show. I take my shower, do my self-massage, and get back in my faja. So I'm usually not even out of my faja an hour a day. It's probably, I'm more in mine, probably 23 and a half hours out of the day. I really try to stick to the regimen um, of recovery for this type of surgery, which is being in my faja all the damn time. That's just what it is at this point so i say all that to say when you are trying to put on your faha it is going to feel like you want to give up and just not get in it get find a way to get in your faha so um i'm sure y'all have seen plenty of videos about how to get in it i may or may not do one i'm not sure but i was um excited about getting in this one and so I was not even thinking to record so I possibly will do a video on how to how to properly get in your faja so I put it on so y'all are seeing this fresh out of the bag I just put it on my body so I'm gonna stand up give you guys a look and then I will give you a review well let's do the review first so um it is tight I'm not gonna lie it's tight um it is an uncomfortable comfortable um, at this point, I am eight weeks. I just turned eight weeks on Thursday. Today is Sunday, the day before Memorial Day. So I'm um, two months. Let's just say two months. So I'm two months. So now my body is pretty much accustomed to being in some type of garment. Um, so it will give a bit. And that's the other thing about staying true to the regimen of this recovery of wearing your faja. The more you're in your garment, your body is going to say, okay, this is what I'm supposed to do and feel when I'm in the garment. You stay out of your garment for a day, two days, a week, and then go try to put it back on, sis, you're going to have problems. So, therefore, you want to be in your garment as much as possible. So, it is going to be tight. I just pulled it out of the bag from when they shipped it. The first thing you want to do is take the legs and put your arms in it and pull the legs out just a little bit. Um, that might help. Also, when you're putting on your garment, you want to put it on almost like you're doing a squat. So you're going to do a squat and as you lift your butt up, pull the garment up over, over your butt. So I'll probably do a video so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. But that's the technique that I've, I used in my round one. That's the one I used this time when I went back for my correction and my, um, my, um, lipo so that's that's all i know so i got it on um and i'm gonna tell you i got like to my knee and i was like this far i ain't gonna fit they did something wrong the measurements are off i didn't ask them to do nothing to the legs it's something wrong and then i said mm, no girl irregardless it's here you can't send it back you gotta get in it so you better find a way so it took me probably about 20 minutes don't worry if you need to take a break take a break you're gonna be huffing and puffing i mean like i said this is my second time having to go through wearing a faja for a surgery and i was huffing and puffing um i was thinking to myself oh my gosh i don't know how I'm gonna, like the gap in how it was gonna close was like this wide i was like i don't even know how i'm gonna get these two pieces together and around my whole body so I got it on. It feels amazing. I, like I said, it's an uncomfortable, comfortable. Um, that's one of those things. If you know, you know, and if you don't, you don't. So, um, yeah, it feels good. I, my body loves being in my faja, to be honest. Um, I feel funny without it. I'm fine without it, but I feel kind of funny without it. But there it goes. So we're just going to get right into what it looks like. So I'm going to stand up and we're going to take my measurements also. So this is what the faja is giving. Let me give y'all a side view. Yeah, view from the back. And another side view. Let me move up. Another side view. And then again from the front. 
And as you can see, I am, there is three, three levels. So this is one, two, and three. I'm on the second, so my middle hooks. So I've still got some room because I still have another row that I want to get to. And as you can see, there is still some pinch, tiny, tiny pinch of space here. So it's not, const it's not constricting where I can't breathe. Um, it is compressing where it needs to compress. So this right here is compressed. This down here is compressed. Um, my hips feel good. They don't feel like, oh my gosh, I'm going to lose my hips or that the it's it's giving too much here so i think we should be fine um as you can see from the stitching of the butt the butt area here the fabric is way different so that it can give for whatever size you get for the back um the size garment that i'm in from so snatched um is a small xl which means um from probably here and down is an xl and from here and up is a um, small, uh, which was the the part we had to, the part I had to send it back for to get adjusted. Um, so um, as you as I told y'all before in the one I ordered, um, I had the adjustable straps which I love. So my straps I move them and you can slide them. I'll show you. You can slide it up some more. Get a little bit closer, or you can slide them down. And I'm 6'2", so I love how long my straps are because that way I can move them down and it'll give me, you know, this extra room if I need to adjust them. Um, what else? Let's jump into measurements with my garment on. I'm typically between a 20... I'm usually at 29. I'm just going to say I'm at 29 right now. So let's see where we are at in the garment. So for the waist okay so it is very true to my size um, I don't think y'all can see that but let me move my finger over come on closer y'all may be able to see that so it's at 29 and then we're going to do my butt which is it's been holding at a 44 um, my weight, my butt was a 44 after my, um, after my round one. So until I had my surgery eight weeks ago for the last, you know, four years, my butt was a 44 in this garment. It is at, I don't know if y'all can see that. It is at a 45. So the garment is probably about an inch, an inch more than what it would be when I'm out out of my faha. When I'm out of my faha, I'm between a 28, 29 at the waist, and my butt is about a 44. And as you can see in the garment, my waist is at a 29, and my butt is at a 45. So, um, yeah, this is the garment. I love it. It is doing what it's supposed to do. I will be satisfied. I mean, I'm satisfied to keep my waist where it is, but if we can hold it and get it, you know, I could stay at a 29 and just keep it flat where it needs to be and this is not even its flatness because obviously I have the garment on so there's a little bit of there of here too and I'll most likely do a full body reveal like in a swimsuit probably at three months so in a few weeks come back and I'll do <laughs> a body reveal because I'm sure everybody wants to see what the body actually looks like but yeah, um, oh, one more other thing I want to point out that you guys probably can't see the style that I have is a mid thigh so it is it's at my mid thigh it's very true to the description it does have the lace trim around in which i showed y'all before so very comfortable i feel like i can move it around i can bend down in it so it's it it for it just coming out of the bag it does have um some give um but yeah i'm very happy so far with my stage two faha um, we will see as the days progress, um, what I feel like at some point, eventually I'm going to put in my ad board and my waist wrap inside of it. So we can keep it nice and flat while it's in this stage too. Cause I will be in this for another, what I've been in one for two months. We got to wear, I'm going to wear mine till six. So I've got another four months. So I want to make sure that I'm keeping it as, you know, compressed and as flat as possible, even when I'm wearing a stage two. So when this loosens a little bit, I most likely will not 
move it immediately over to the third level. I'll probably insert my ab board and do my waist tra start my waist training. Um, my waist training with a a band. So that is all I have. Remember, if you have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. Um, I will put in the um, website where you can go and order um, your stage one and or stage two. Um, I'll also include the location with the address. So if you are in Atlanta, near Atlanta, if you want to do like me and jump on a plane and go to Atlanta, you'll have the address and the contact information. But again, Super excited to have my stage two. I'm in it. I'll be wearing it for the next four months. Um, and so, yeah, I think the next video that I will give you guys will be a review on my doctor. Now that I'm out two months, I will give you guys a full review on that. And I will drop that one in between now and three months because at three months, I'll do a body reveal. So... That is all for today. Thank you guys so much. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, do not forget to like, com like, comment, subscribe, and share, and to make sure that you turn on your notification bell. All right. I'll see y'all later. All right. Bye.